As South Korea and the U.S. celebrate the 70th anniversary of their alliance, tonight we take a look at the replica of an old diplomatic mission building in Washington, D.C., dubbed the cradle of Korea-U.S. friendship. The old Korean legation was the first full property in the United States used by diplomats during the Joseon dynasty who worked hard to put themselves on the world map. Our Kim do sheds light on this historic location. At Logan Circle, in the heart of Washington, D.C., is a house that doesn't look out of place in this neighborhood. But it's a time machine to the late 1800s and a replica of a diplomatic post from the Joseon dynasty. Joseon in the 19th century wanted to pull away from the Qing dynasty's influence in Northeast Asia and become more global. In 1882, it established diplomatic relations with the U.S. and set up a permanent post in 1889 here in D.C. Researchers traveled across the U.S. to find the records related to this diplomatic office and spoke to families of former diplomats posted here for historical facts. Pictures of the first floor were found and the rooms were replicated. Unlike the first floor, there were no pictures discovered for the second floor, but what restoration specialists were able to find were documents that were sent to the king back when the legation was in operation. And they include accounting books like this, with pages of elaborate detail to invoices for maintaining the facility. And that is how the second floor was set up. From the bedroom to the bathroom, there are items from antique stores, and visitors can see how diplomats long ago spent their daily lives. The museum is on the third and top floor, providing important historical context. This post, it explains, was not just used for diplomacy, it was also the Joseon dynasty's window to the West. The building has an interesting history. In 1905, Korea was forced to sign the 1905 Protectorate Treaty, losing its diplomatic sovereignty. This state, which cost 25,000 U.S. dollars, was then sold by Japan to an American family for $10. After multiple owners, the Logan Circle area became a historic site in 1972, which prohibited reconstruction. Around 2010, South Korea's Minister of Culture, Park bo then working as a journalist, identified the property and urged the government to buy it back. In 2012, South Korea paid $3.5 million to do just that. Park said it was worth every cent. There were 32 legations here in D.C. back in the 19th century, but this is the only one that's been preserved exactly how it was. The U.S. government values this as well. For us, it was the first ever collaboration with American historic preservation experts to restore a heritage site. The museum says it's the cradle of the ROK-U.S. relationship we enjoy today. From here, visitors can see how a small nation in the East worked for recognition back then and see how far South Korea has come today. Kim Do-yeon, Arirang News, Washington, D.C.